Okay, so working from home has become a huge part of people's lives nowadays, and almost everyone can benefit in some capacity from building a dedicated desk setup. Not only does it help with focus when you have a dedicated workspace at home, but sometimes you just wanna work in your PJs. <laughs> my name is Lassie Fasane, and today we're gonna to be building a work from home desk setup in my bedroom. So let's get onto it. Okay, so even though I technically have like a YouTube studio set up already nearby, but I wanted to have something at home because sometimes I just don't feel like leaving home or for those late night edits where I need to be working at a workstation, but the laptop screen just isn't big enough. That's why I wanted to make a setup at home. Currently what I have is this, which is pretty basic. I mean, it's good enough, but I wanted to have like a standing desk here. I wanted to jazz it up a little bit more. Had to get my cup of coffee before we start. <laughs> I'm actually really tired today. I don't know why. But okay, so let's first start off with the actual desk that houses everything. This is the E7 Pro Plus desk from the sponsor of today's video, FlexiSpot. Now, one of the most exciting parts about building a desk setup is deciding the color schemes and the materials and everything that will go with it. So it was nice to see that FlexiSpot offered a whole bunch of different options in this regard, not to mention a whole bunch of other accessories that you can also buy to customize this desk with. I personally went with this solid wood finish on the top because I love the look and feel of natural wood and I feel it really elevates a space. Assembling this thing was also quite straightforward. It came in a few different boxes and I just had to put it all together following the instructions. So just finished installing this whole table. Now the moment of truth, I gotta flip it over and actually set it up. All in all, I'd say this whole thing took me about an hour and a half doing it all by myself. Nonetheless, pretty straightforward, easy install. The only thing was I had to drill some holes, but other than that, we're all good. I went with the cherry wood finish with white base for the color scheme because I was going for a little more on the earthy tones vibe with white accents. And you'll see throughout this video, I'm able to get this minimalistic light mode theme as well as a moody dark mode theme. In terms of size, I went with the 55 by 28 inch wood panel because I wanted something that was not too big that fills up the entire room, but this was just the perfect middle ground. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna see if this works now. Oh, this is nice and smooth and it actually doesn't make too much noise either. I like it. A few years ago, I actually switched all my desks over to standing desks and I swear by them. Having that extra flexibility to stand and work is a game changer. This desk can also support up to 355 pounds, so it's got your boy covered. You also get this touchpad here, which you can use to adjust the height as well as store some memory presets so you can dial in exactly the height you like every time. Also, in terms of stability, this desk performs admirably. As you can see here, the water's not even moving. Okay, so overall, for the price, I think this is a good option to check out if you're in the market market for a standing desk. I have a link down below and you can go ahead and check it out there. Okay, the next thing I picked up was this little guy, which is basically like this power bar or power brick from a company called Nectech. One of the problems that I have with all of my power bricks is the fact that the pins are so close together that sometimes I can't get things right beside one another. Like, tell me you guys have had that issue. But what these guys do is they basically have rotating heads and I can just basically go ahead and spin these to different sides. And it also comes with two USB ports if you need them. But overall, the spinning plug points, mm. Love it. Next up, I gotta actually figure out a chair situation. I got just a thing. So I actually had to wait for months for this to come in. I ordered this custom from Herman Miller and they basically spec'd it out exactly the way I wanted it to. And I'm excited to see how it came out. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, y'all ready for the first sit? This is gonna be magical. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna give up sleeping and just sit. Okay, so this is one of my all time favorite chairs. I actually have one in the studio as well in all black. This ergonomic chair can be quite expensive. However, me personally, I actually spend more time sitting down in these chairs than I do in my bed or my couch. So for me, I mean, it was worth the investment. This chair also has a ton of adjustments as well so that you can fine tune exactly what's the best seating position for you. The spec that I got here is the white frame with titanium base and the Canyon Red Sink upholstery up top. I went with this particular color combo because I loved the look of it with the contrasting white frame and the red canyon upholstery. I think it just added that little bit of pop of color with any sort of wood setup background. Next, I wanna talk about the monitor I'm using. This is the BenQ PD3220U. It's also really simple to use and all I need is this one cable that I can plug into my MacBook Pro. And it's not only going to display my Mac, but also charge it. On top of that, it comes with this little handy puck and it allows me to adjust settings really quickly such as brightness or color space. Now, 
Now, a problem that I usually face with some monitors is that the colors on it don't really match the colors on my MacBook or Apple displays. Now, this monitor comes with a special MBook color mode, which gives me accurate matching colors. So overall, my experience using this monitor has been great. Everything is crisp, it's clear, the colors are accurate. So I don't really have any issues. In fact, I'm actually considering taking this monitor over to my studio and actually replacing my studio displays for one big reason, ports. You see, the Apple display only has Thunderbolt port, whereas if you take a look in here, you have like USB ports, you have display ports, you have HDMI ports, which makes it possible for me to connect things like my PS5 and my Nintendo Switch. Also, right out of the box, you don't have to pay extra for like a stand or the VESA mount or anything like that. I can take this way up, way down, and I can even turn it completely vertical if I wanted to. So lots of different options here with this guy. So naturally, when you're doing a clean desk setup, you need a clean keyboard. This keyboard just might be one of the cleanest keyboards I've seen in a while. Okay, this is a keyboard that I'm really, really excited for. Even the unboxing experience for this keyboard was fantastic. This is a brand new Newfie Field 75 wireless mechanical keyboard. There's several different colorways available on the website, but the one I got is called Ethereal, and man, all the attention to detail, it literally has me. It's got this metal handlebar, metal knob for volume control, and the 70s DIP mode switch, and of course, it's all RGB. This keyboard not only looks really nice, but it's equally as nice to type on. I love the entire design language of this keyboard, and anytime a company does something innovative like this, I'm all here for it. Okay, now as for my mouse of choice, I went with the Logitech MX Master 3S. I believe this is the Mac version, and it's a fantastic mouse. It's my go-to mouse. It's one of the best productivity mouses on the market. I mean, it has a bunch of buttons that I can use for different shortcuts on Mac. I like the side scroll wheel, the top scroll wheel, the materials that they've used to design these. It feels really nice in your hand, so I think this is a great ergonomic mouse. So I just added this uh, black desk mat from Grovemade, and I think it really brings the table in together quite a bit more now. Uh, I definitely like how it's coming together now. Not only does it protect the wood on here, but it also makes using this mouse a lot better. And I can just use this desk mat for the whole keyboard as well as the mouse. This, this is the leather one from Grove Made again and uh, looks fantastic. Now a couple additional touches. I wanted to add an iPad stand here to this desk because I do use my iPad quite often. So this one is the Banks iPad stand. Uh, you guys have seen this before. It's all magnetic. It's got the soft touch finish on here and let me show you how it works. So basically you can take your iPad, it'll just magnetically attach to the stand, and then you can go ahead and you can maneuver it like height-wise, you can turn it around. And now, boom, I have it screen mirrored, so I can go ahead and basically use this as an extra monitor as well for my computer. For the next product, a lot of people ask me, Tosif, how come you always have a trackpad right beside your keyboard and your mouse and everything? Don't you already have a mouse? So yes, technically, if you have a mouse, having a trackpad as well is overkill, but I actually find it extremely useful, especially when I'm doing like video editing or photo editing and stuff. Just having the ability while I'm using my mouse to be able to scroll and, you know, have that finite control with the trackpad, I find that super beneficial. Trust me, don't knock it until you try it. I think it's a best way of using a Mac. You gotta have both. Okay, and last but not least, to tie everything together from here, I've got this pegboard from Costco, I believe. It's called Umbra, but I'll also have a couple others linked that I've tried, which are pretty good that you can get on Amazon. But essentially, I've just used it to just organize some things. So I have my drone there, just some nice aesthetic little things, some important to-do lists, make sure you all do that one. And also over here, I just store some cables and stuff like that. And these guys, oh yeah, these guys are basically coasters that I can use along with my um, desk. So I don't mess up the actual wood or anything like that. These are also from Grub Made and they're double-sided as well. So you can either use a wool side or there's a wooden side. So yeah. Now having a good desk setup not only helps in terms of productivity and focus, but it also feels nice to have something to like go back to and work out of, right? Not to mention the entire process of actually building this setup just to make sure I can try to get that color palette just right. It's exciting, right? Like all of that stuff is what makes building desk setups so much fun. Now, if you guys have any desk setups or you guys want my advice, make sure you guys hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, tag me on your stories and let me know your questions and I'd be glad to help you with whatever way I can. In any case, that's the desk setup I have right now. In a couple weeks, this is probably gonna change significantly again. I keep changing my stuff all the time, but make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel to see more. If you like this video, then check out this one or this one that YouTube thinks you might like and I'll see you guys right there.